You think people are going to be sending me your OnlyFans stuff with these ugly, ugly rats? And I'm supposed to feel some type of way? No, I don't. I don't feel some type of way. You know why? Because you up here posting with three, four, five, all these things. I'm not even going to call them women because, ew. Um, nobody cares. Nobody cares. And honestly, what I what I do suggest you do is go get checked because it's um it's disgusting, actually. But, like I said, and I was telling you guys, do not go watch her OnlyFans. It's disgusting. It's degrading. It's disrespectful. But above all of that stuff, it's just irrelevant. Because, like I said, nobody's worried about you. You're going to really feel it in your chest when I turn up. Because let me let you guys know. Your girl made an OnlyFans. Yeah, sure did. Made an OnlyFans. And, yeah, that lingerie, Laura, that you bought me, I'm not going to wear it for you. But, actually, I did get on OnlyFans. I did set up my little cute camera. And, you know, I had a really great, fun, lonely, lonely time by my lonely. And it was really sexy, if you know what I mean. So, you guys, you don't want to miss it out. I just made my OnlyFans. Go check it out. Go watch a real bitch. Do some real shit. Because, um, I don't know what you thought you had going on in your little videos. I saw them. They're disgusting. Um, I don't know what they think, those girls think that they were doing, but it's nasty. But like I said, don't pay no more mind to that. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Norali. And honestly, I feel good today. I really do. I always thank you and appreciate all of you guys for all your love and support. Honestly, I really, really do love all of you. Um, let me just start off with a prayer before I get into my video because this is going to be a very spicy, spicy, spicy video. When I tell you guys it's going to be a spicy video, please grab your popcorn, buckle up because I got something very special for you guys today. So like I said, I'm going to start off with the prayer and then get into finishing what I want to tell you guys. So, dear Lord, bless today, bless tomorrow. Thank you for everything you give us. Thank you for this wonderful day. I pray for everyone. I pray that you continue to bless everyone and continue to keep all of us strong for anyone going through a similar situation as I am in life right now or just anything. I pray that you heal them. And I pray that you continue to remind them that with your strength that you give us, Lord, we will all be okay. And I thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, you guys. So before I start off and show you guys where I'm standing in front of right now, I wanted to tell you guys, um, on some real shit, like on some real shit, I really, 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 all of you weird hoes that be sending me stuff on fake pages or just people in general that be messaging me, mainly like you weirdos, like you bitches, settle down like settle down you guys sending me her only fans um like you guys sending me her only fans that she's fucking other girls and this and that i don't care to see that i don't want to see that first of all like i said y'all are weirdos why do you why do you get satisfaction from sending me that like if you go to my twitter you see how a real bitch do it nobody will eat you better laura you already know that's facts nobody will do you better nobody will fuck you better nobody will do you better love you better none of that because you got the best well, you had the best, like I said, because you already know that I left and I am going to be uh, getting a mover's truck and uh, other stuff, other stuff that just is irrelevant right now. But <clears throat> yeah, big time, big time. Go check the Twitter. Stop playing with me. So like I said, do not pay attention to these little people making videos about Laura's OnlyFans with other people or people just trying to like bring me down as a woman. Because like I said, all of y'all real supporters that are really out here watching me and supporting me. Y'all already know the tea. Y'all already know the vibes. And like I said, I appreciate y'all. I love you guys for always just being supportive for me. But like I said, all you weirdos, I don't care. Stop trying to send me stuff. Try, stop trying to make me feel bad about a situation I already feel terrible about. Anyways, God bless you. God bless you all. But yeah, y'all make sure to go check out my Twitter for a real bitch. To see how a real bitch do it. Because like I said, Laura, you will never get anybody better than me. And that's a fact, that's a period, and you know that. So you can continue to do all this phony stuff that you're saying. You continue to make all your phony videos and try to act phony and act like I don't matter. And act like my feelings are not valid. Even though you want to come in my face and act brand new and say that you love me and this and that. Feel that in your chest the next time. The next time you think about me. So, I'm going to leave that at that. And you guys, I'm going to show you where I'm at. And... Let me show you guys where I'm at first, and then... So, before I move the camera, you guys are gonna about to see what I'm getting. They're gonna stencil it, and then, um, obviously, tattoo it on. But when you see it, I'm gonna show y'all guys, and then I'm gonna say what I wanted to say. So, this is what I'm gonna be getting today. 
and honestly it was something that i wanted to get so lord when you see this i don't fuck with you okay don't think i got it for you because i didn't definitely got it for myself and for anyone that has anything to say this is what i wanted to get and i don't fuck with you we're not together i do not want to be with you but i will definitely be getting this tattoo today and it is like i said what i want and nobody's gonna change what i want i'm gonna continue to get what i want and yeah it's gonna look fire um i just want to say and make this very clear laura when you watch my video and you see my tattoo i do not fuck with you don't flatter yourself do not flatter yourself i very much got this tattoo for me and it is something I wanted to do. Personally, I know the true meaning behind why I'm getting my tattoo. And that's on period. So like I said, when you watch this, do not flatter yourself. Because I don't fuck with you. I do not like you. I don't fuck with you. You're a whore. You're a bitch. You're a whore. Okay, so keep that same energy. Don't fucking see my tattoo. And then run over here and try to be all cute and stuff. Because it was never for you. So don't flatter yourself, like I said. And for anybody who has any negativity or says anything about my tattoo, I wanted to get it very much wants to get it very much got it for my own personal reasons not nobody else and like i said that's on period and like i said y'all keep all of that negative energy i don't want to hear about her i don't want to hear about her this is my life it has nothing to do nothing revolving none of the stuff she got going on so let me show you my tattoo that i'm going to get today um i put in a little clip of like it from the mirror so you can see but i'm be going i'm gonna get this beautiful picture here on the side of my face and like i said i know the reason as to why i'm getting it so a lot of people might have their own personal reasons as into why i'm getting it and being judgeful and being negative and shit i don't give a fuck i'm getting my tattoo for like i said because i wanted it and nobody's gonna stop me from getting what i want and doing what i want in life so like i said lord don't flatter yourself because i can give a fuck and i can care less what you got to say after you see my vlog because i know you're going to come running back and saying try to be in my face no keep that same energy you want it to be on only fans you wanted people to send me videos you want it to be a whore so keep that same energy and like i said i'm not even gonna take time from my precious vlog because this is a memorable experience for me this is a good moment for me it is a happy moment in my life that i'm getting all of my tattoos mean the world to me and i have personal reasons into why i'm getting them so like i said i do not fuck with you so don't try to fake fuck with me now that you see that I'm getting a certain tattoo that, like I said, don't feel flattered about it because it's not about you. It's not about you anymore. It isn't. And like I said, I'm addressing it right now because I know people are going to have a lot of different opinions, which I don't care. If you were in my position, then you'd understand. And like I said, it's a free world. Do what you want. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. And yeah, I'm going to continue to get what I want. And anyone can say what they want about it. But I'm going to get my fly ass tattoo right now and so you guys they stenciled it i literally think it looks so good like it literally so good like besides you guys gonna say whatever about getting my bm on my face um i think it looks like a work of art like the design and the person doing it i made sure that they were gonna do an a1 so the detail and design is gonna look great on it you got the cubans got the exact image that i want so it's gonna be sick i know it's gonna look hard as fuck but yeah, like I said, back to the main thing, Laura, fuck off. I do not fuck with you. So don't think that any of this means anything towards you. Like I said, I'm giving my shit and I'm leaving. Deuce. I don't fuck with you. But I'm so excited to like, oh my God, do my makeup. Like I'm gonna look like a baddie. What? What? Okay, so yeah, I will be back with the final look. And yeah, we will be back. I don't want to talk because I don't want them to ruin my tattoo. Or like move my tattoo, not ruin it. I can't talk that much while I'm getting tattooed because I don't want to move. But like I said, Laura, if you watch this, don't flatter yourself. It's not for you. It's for me.
baru mah penting ya. I'm gonna say a prayer for this video. This is how we're gonna start off this video. Every video I'm gonna start off with the prayer, but this one, y'all pray for Laura. Y'all pray for Laura. Pray for Laura. You know why? Because I done turned up. I done turned all the way the fuck up. And um, it's not nothing like bad at all. It's not bad. But I'm gonna start the video off with the prayer before I continue letting y'all know what's up with me. What's up with everything? And again, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys because without y'all, I would have never came to this realization of who the fuck Narali Morales, Narali motherfreaking Najum is. Okay? Okay. So let's start off with this prayer and then I'm gonna get into the video. Okay. Dear Lord, bless today, bless tomorrow. Thank you for everything you give us. Thank you for this wonderful day. <clears throat> I thank you for giving me the strength in the last few days to come to the realization that I'm a great woman, I'm a great person, and nobody's going to take advantage of me. <clears throat> and I'm gonna make people understand and make people feel that they need to respect me and that no matter what, I am that. And I thank you for always being here with me and just reminding me and giving me strength. I pray that you always continue to bless and help those in need. And again, I just wanna say thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, you guys. So where should I start? So. I went to the tattoo shop yesterday, as y'all can see. Let me just, before I continue. Y'all see the details, right? Because my tattoo artist killed it. Killed it. But enough, enough, um, enough with that. Enough with, I'm sorry. This is just like art, like killed it. Like look at the detail in the, what? eyes the chains the diamonds i'm sorry i just had to give you a detail close up because it's sick it's sick my tattoo is fucking amazing but back to my video back to my video my tattoo is amazing am, am i sitting here saying laura is amazing no i don't fuck with you this tattoo not for you this tattoo was never for you. And I said that in my vlog. I said, don't feel flattered. And I will say it again for the 20th time. Don't feel flattered. Don't feel flattered, baby. Don't feel flattered because it's not about you. It's not about you no more. I sat up and cried for you four days in a row. I sat up and begged for you four days in a row, five days in a row, a week in a row, a life in a row, the whole fucking damn relationship. I was sitting here begging for you to act right, begging for you to do right, begging for you to continue Well. You was acting good, but clearly you was just all phony and lies. But it's cool. It's cool. I'm not sweating it. You know why? You know why? Because like I said, I turned up. I turned all the way up. So yesterday, I was in the tattoo shop, and I was getting tatted. And like I was telling you guys, if you guys know, like, tattoos like therapy for me. I love tattoo. Like, the needle, it, it doesn't hurt me and stuff. So I like getting tatted. I love getting tatted. And I was like, what better tattoo? My tattoos are super meaningful. Um, if you don't understand them, then it's not for you to understand. I, I could care less what anybody says or thinks about my tattoo or their opinion. And that's another thing. Don't ever give a fuck about what nobody got to say because nobody pays your bills. Nobody um, is living in your shoes and nobody's understanding your brain and your mentality. So do what the fuck you want in life. I already know people are gonna have their different opinions on my face and my tattoos and things like that. I don't give a fuck. Let me just put that out there. I don't give a fuck. You like it, you love it, you hate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'm gonna leave that at that. Back to what I was telling you guys though. So I was in the tattoo shop and I will post the vlog, like I'm gonna put my vlog of yesterday, but I couldn't really vlog in there as much as I wanted to because this was like super, super, I had to stay still and my artist was like, just trying to still don't talk. So it was like a, a lot of hours I was in there that I couldn't really vlog and like, and there's a lot of people in there too. So what I really wanted to say, I couldn't say it on camera because people were gonna look at me crazy and then I was probably gonna go off on somebody. But, okay, so let me just make this very, 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 very fucking clear, okay? Laura, when you watch my video, like I said, I'm not gonna be sitting up crying here no more. You know why? Because emphasis, I'm that bitch. I'm that girl. I am that. And I came to the realization and I support all of you and I thank all of you for all your support and your messages. 
because y'all reminded me who the fuck I am. Laura, you you tried very hard to get me when we when we got together. You was head over heels, and you still you still clearly are. You blowing up my phone. Don't try to act on the internet like you're not. Head over heels. Don't forget it. Don't forget who I am and how you got me. Okay. When you was all lovey lovey dovey trying to get me and stuff, you think that you could go on OnlyFans and you could text all these people and you could have people texting me. Go ahead. Go ahead because we could play all day. We could play games all day. We could go back and forth all day. That's fine by me. This house, you know, I told you guys I was going to move. No, I'm back. I'm back in my house. You know why? Because this is my house. It's in my name too. We bought it together. So we have a whole son. Why would I go and be in discomfort and stress myself out when I have a beautiful house right here? You could get your shit and leave though. Actually, I'm feeling a little petty petty today. I'm finna go get your shit and get the fuck out of my house today. Today, because I don't fuck with you. I don't want you around me. I don't want your fake phony self around me. Don't come around me and try to act like shit is sweet now. Like I said, this tattoo was never for you. I don't fuck with you. Do I fuck with my tattoo? Heavy, heavy. Heavy, it's what I wanted, it's what I got. Like I said, big time on what I wanted. I look fucking fire. My tattoo looks fire. It wasn't for you. Don't feel fucking flattered, the hell. Was not for you. And I will continue to say that. Tattoo was not for you. You could feel, I know you wanna feel like it was for you cause you looking at me and you remembering and you know how, how pressure I am. You know that, like I said, nobody's gonna love you better than me. Nobody's gonna support you better than me. Nobody's gonna be there, uh, handle your business better than me. Nobody's gonna be your ride or die, your right hand, better than me. And you don't see that now, or you might know that, and you think that just because I was, I was just in this steady place where things were just gonna be continuing to slide, no. No, no, no. Like I said, I ain't finna throw your shit out of my motherfucking house. That poster, I'ma throw that shit out of my fucking house. Do not fuck with you. Do not fuck with you. Let me just go outside. Let me just step outside for a second to show y'all. To show y'all what time I'm really on. Because I don't want you guys thinking this shit is sweet. Because it's not. It's not. I'm on a different time. I'm on a different time. Like I said, Laura. Come get your shit. Because it's going to be outside the house. Um, period. Y'all see this? Okay. This. Hi, you need a wash. But... This Porsche you bought me, I'm going to continue to keep it. I told you the other day when I was mad, take everything, keep everything. No, no. Me and your son are going to ride happily with the things that you bought us because we deserve it. And this Tesla is under your name, right? No. No, you can't get it. You can't get it. Why? Because it's mine. Everything is mine. You can't have it. You can't have none of it. You want to be out, you want to be acting like you don't have a family, like you don't have a home. So let me show you. Let me show you what that really means. So you can really feel it in your chest. You can really feel it in your chest. That door, it don't open for you no more. Don't come around us thinking that shit is sweet because it's not. And my son? Oh, my son has nothing to do with this. You can see your son. You can always see your son. Our son has nothing to do with our problems. He is an innocent, beautiful baby boy that will have no correlation to anything that's going on, being said on the internet. Nothing, 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 nothing. Um, so like I said, you can see your son. That has nothing to do with our beautiful baby king, okay? What it has to do though, is you and me. You and me are no longer and you know that. You keep blowing me up, you think shit is sweet. And I'm letting you know right now, if you walk through this door, it don't open for you no more. Get your shit and get the fuck. Everybody you wanted to be texting me, um, Ashley, Bella, everybody, I do not fuck with none of y'all. Like, I'm on a different type of time. I'm on a whole different type of groove, the whole different type of level. Level, okay, it's levels to this shit. And, and you, you already know how I am. You already know how I am, you already know how it is. So you wanna play, we can play. What time is it? I got all day. I got all day. I got all day, all years, all everything. Whatever you wanna do about it, we could do about it. It don't matter to me, I'm chilling. I'm straight chilling. Like I said, I made an OnlyFans and I don't go check that shit out. 
okay, go check this shit out. And like I said, a bitch gonna stay cute. A bitch gonna stay understanding and reevaluating and understanding my value. It's a, it's a case wrapped. So when you see me, you see her. When you see me, you see her. So all y'all little thought hosts out here thinking that y'all are special or that she's making you feel some type of way. Um, look around, look around, Captain Obvious. What is the obvious? You dumb bitch. So y'all will never ever be able to take my place, no matter what. Laura, you will literally be kissing my feet. You're gonna be back. You're gonna be back begging for me. You know why? Because like I said, nobody gonna get you, have you, and do you like me. And that's on period. I'm not sitting here being crazy. I'm sitting here speaking, speaking, spitting, fucking facts. Fucking facts. Like, all of my ladies out here, I appreciate y'all for reminding me of my value, letting me know that it will be okay. It will. I'm not going to sit here and be crying no more. No. No, ma'am. No, Laura. Like I said, you're going to be back. You're going to be running back. And for all your little thought pockets out there thinking that y'all are y'all got one up on me or y'all got anything on me, you don't got shit on me ever. Ever. So like I said, y'all stay tuned. Because Laura, it's just getting started with you. It's just getting started. For all y'all thinking that she's just gonna come back and her little TikTok saying that I'm gonna run back and listen to her and this and that. No. No, it's on my time, actually. And we working on my time and we doing what the fuck Nirali says. So Nirali said, get your shit, get out of my house. Your cars, you can't have them. Even if your name is on them as well as mine, you can't have them, they're mine. You, you can't have anything. You got, you got money, right? Go start over. You wanted a new bitch, new this, new that. Go start over. But when you see that the grass ain't greener on the other side, I'm gonna be here to record you running back, to prove my point to all of you guys. In reality, when she kept saying that I will never leave and that I'm gonna be running back and that it's always me, 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 me chasing her, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see who really running back, who really chasing for who. Cause clearly, not that the tattoo is like um, validation for anything, Laura, but clearly no bitch rise harder for you and is that about you but me all of these bitches ain't got shit on me so like i said keep that same energy this video is for you and anybody else who has anything to fucking say and this is what type of time i'm on and y'all just stay tuned like i said because nirali nirali's just getting started nirali's just turning up so stay tuned like i said because the party is just getting fucking started